well, it's official. I'm moving out. If you guys watched my last video, then you know that I was really on the verge of making some pretty big life decisions. And in the end, a lot of the things fell into line themselves and I'm so excited to share with you my plans coming up. However, they do involve some big changes for the next few weeks while I trial out a new form of living that has been on my bucket list for a long, long time. There is some huge advantages. I'm really excited to bring you all for the journey. But first, I have been cleaning up this van and getting it absolutely schmicko because I'm gonna rent it out whilst I'm not in it. And if you've spent any time on YouTube, then you might recognize who I'm renting it to. You look like you need a ride. <laughs> you may recognize Sorel, who's, who's hiding in my bathroom. Sorel, I was about to say she is going to be my guest in the van, but she's actually not because... I'm kicking you out. She's kicking me out. Sorel is trying out van life. You've been interested. A lot of you, if you do know Sorel, then I guess wouldn't even know that you're in Australia. Surprising my family here. Surprising your family after how long? Two years. As soon as Australia opened, I'm here. Are you gonna, are you gonna film that? <laughs> yeah, of okay. course. Okay, I'm very keen to watch. You guys definitely should too. I'll put her deets there. But Sorel is renting the van for the next month to potentially six weeks whilst I go overseas. You've actually also got a bit of special cargo too, Sorel. Yep. You... Taking someone along for a little bit of a road trip. So I know everyone would be wondering what's going on with Oki when I'm going overseas. You'll be happy to know he's actually staying with Kirsten, who you all would have seen. She had the tiny house and you would have seen Oki's love affair with her. So she's so excited to have him back and Sorel is dropping Oki up. So I'm going to secretly steal him actually. <laughs> Just kidding. So it churns all the compost. Okay. And Oh my god, that's nasty. <laughs> it's actually, no, it's not. Okay. You don't look at it when you're spinning. You close it when you're spinning it. I'm nervous because I am, I know I'm a pretty good driver. Yeah. But in front of you, I'll probably stuff it up. It's not just in front of me, so. Uh, of course I have to sit. I trust you. You got this. Oh wait, which side of the road do I Left. do? Left. Left? Yeah. Holy this. shit. Shit is getting real. Yeah, but I think I just have to learn how to, because it's so tall and long. And. You got it. You got it. I'm actually so sad. Oh, it kind of hit me a little bit last night. Now, you're going to go stay with your girlfriend, okay? <laughs> Have fun. Well, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The hardest part is bloody leaving Oki. I absolutely hate not being able to take him on this one, but really this is a trip of a lifetime and it's actually a down payment on a potential future plans that is going to involve Oki so much more, but I want to make sure it's right for him and this trip's going to allow me to do it. For me, it's now time to pack. I fly out tomorrow. <laughs> As you can see, the airport is bloody empty. There is no one here. My home is not a highway, a straight road to follow. This is wild. It is so bizarre to be in here and to be traveling international again. I am so pumped to bring you all on this adventure. I haven't been this excited about travel or really anything in such a long time. You may have guessed with some of my luggage that I'm bringing aboard that I'm going somewhere sunny and tropical. That's probably not a surprise to a lot of you. But yeah, I'm gonna take you with me for the whole journey and really plan on sharing a bit more over the next month or so whilst I'm away. But before I give too much more of it away, I'm booked in to have my BetterHelp therapy appointment before I fly out. So I'm gonna do that now. And um, thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. 
and I'll see you guys on the plane. I personally have been seeing a therapist through BetterHelp for over six months and have found it extremely helpful in providing coping mechanisms for dealing with some of the harder challenges in life. If you don't know what BetterHelp is, it's not a crisis line, it's not self-help, it's professional therapy done securely online. BetterHelp will assess your needs and match you with a licensed professional therapist and you can start communicating within 48 hours. There is a broad range of expertise in BetterHelp's 20,000 plus therapist network which may not be locally available in many areas. This service is available for clients worldwide. You can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You'll get timely and thoughtful responses, plus you can schedule weekly video or phone sessions so you won't ever have to sit in an uncomfortable waiting room again. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches so they make it easy and free to change therapists if needed. It's more affordable than traditional offline therapy and financial aid is available. BetterHelp wants you to start living a happier life today and quite frankly, so do I. I swear my therapist is such a breath of fresh air. I absolutely love her and the beauty is with BetterHelp I can keep having my regular therapy appointments no matter where I am in the world and I think it's really important that even though I'm feeling good at the moment that I keep those appointments up. I'm so glad BetterHelp are sponsoring today's video because it's actually Men's Mental Health Month and I wanted to show that it's okay for guys to speak up about their mental health and to seek professional help if you ever feel like you need it. If you are considering joining BetterHelp, go to betterhelp.com forward slash Max That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, and you'll get 10% off your first month and you can join over a million people using BetterHelp and taking charge of their mental health today. And to be honest, the timing couldn't have worked out better because they're calling for boarding. It's time for this adventure to really begin. No only been allowed to fly internationally for 10 days in Australia and to be honest I'm surprised it took me that long. My aim is distant far away I'm believing in long reach I'm leaning I'm taking on I'm It's been, I think, four hours at Jakarta Airport. Intan has Hello. been looking after me. Yeah, my name is Intan. I'm uh, in the staff uh, Gapura in Garuda, Indonesia. Yeah, and she's been extremely helpful and welcoming, and we're finally leaving negative on the test. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Welcome. <laughs> it's good to be here. And yes, you heard the lovely Intan correctly. We have made it to Indonesia, which is one of my favorite countries in the world. We are in Jakarta, which is not the final stop on this journey. However, Indonesia currently has a rule that you need to do two nights quarantine after arriving internationally and have two COVID tests come back negative before you are allowed out to then travel further onwards. And as you can see, it isn't going to be too bad for me. I have been extremely fortunate in that one of my patrons has a hookup with the Mandarin Oriental, which is a five-star hotel known for its amazing food. And I have to tell you, I've already had dinner and I mean, 
I cannot wait to show you around the room tomorrow or the suites. There's a few rooms, I should say. However, I am absolutely buggered from the travel and I think I'm just gonna enjoy the bath for now. Good night, guys. Honestly, what has my life become? Good morning. Before I jump into the tour, it has come to my attention that this channel has reached 98,000 subscribers, which means that there is a potential maybe that this video is going to bring it over the line and hit the 100K mark. I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for your ongoing support. If you have been a constant viewer of my videos, then you'll know the last year and a half has really been the hardest of my life and it's only in the last kind of couple of months that I've really started to feel things turn around and I have no doubt that Lee has played a hand in having all of this line up for me to have this wonderful opportunity and I'm so glad to be grabbing it with both hands. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing, like this video, it really helps me out. I'm just so excited to bring you on future adventures and yeah, I wanted to say that I'm grateful to each and every one of you. Let's keep spreading kindness and for now, let's get into the tour. So I think it's only fitting that we start with the bathroom. We've got the huge ass bath, the rainfall shower, and then we have all the Bench space over here, the little glam up station here in case I want to have a little glow up whilst I'm in quarantine. Here we have the walk-in robe, which clearly I'm making huge use of. Then here we have the WC, the toilet. I haven't quite been brave enough to use this bad boy yet. Seems to have a little bit of excessive pressure. I do like the touch of having the phone available when you're on the john. Then out here, we have the entrance. This is where all my meals get brought in and out, and this is the door that I am not allowed to leave. Most important possessions I own are my two surfboards. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I only bought these a couple of weeks ago. They are already my babies, and they are preparation for this trip. I cannot wait to use them over here. Okay, now we have the office space, which I'm already starting to make use of. I'm really trying to get some editing and work done now. Then the living space, which is bloody huge. Another nice touch is they've given me an exercise mat and some dumbbells so I can keep working out whilst in here. Then for the view, Jakarta itself has over 10 million people. It is huge. And so this monument and roundabout is always bumping as you can see with the traffic, but it's really cool just to watch. And then if we head into here, here is the boudoir, nice king size bed, which is crazy comfortable. I'm still kind of getting used to having all this space, but really I'm just trying to soak it up, absolutely make the most of it because this is the first five-star hotel I've ever stayed in in my life. So thank you again to that patron who doesn't want to be named, but I'm just so grateful. And the way the quarantine essentially works is that I'm not allowed to leave this room for the three days. I have another PCR test tomorrow morning that needs to come back negative. And in the meantime, they deliver me three meals a day and they take it away. They do my laundry. Essentially, it's, it's like a little staycation. Meal number two. Meal number three. Meal number four. Now, you're going to go
So I just got woken up at 4.30 in the morning um, because they do the second PCR test, the second COVID test really early so we can get our results back by the afternoon. So if you need to leave, you can leave that day rather than keeping you for a third night. Um, so not the nicest way to wake up, but back to bed. Meal number five. Meal number six. Provided my test comes back negative, this is my final meal of the quarantine stay. And I have to say, I'm a little bit disappointed that it's wrapped up so quickly. It went like. Hello. Is it true I'm free? Yes. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Finally. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Thank you for staying with us, Mr. Bistro. Hope you uh, stay with us later in the future. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Here we are. I hope you're all ready for paradise because we are so close. We have made it to Padang in Sumatra, which is one leg off our final stop. I still need to get a ferry, which I won't be able to catch till tomorrow. I think it's time to let you all in on the plan. However, I'll do that at the next hotel because it is so hot out here. I don't know why I chose to wear pants, but I am sweating bullets. How is this little spot? And appropriate clothing has been adorned. As soon as I got to my hotel room, I was like, stuff this. I've literally just spent the last three days inside. I want to get out and explore Padang. And I have to say, it is much more beautiful than I even imagined. Padang in itself isn't really considered the biggest tourist destination, but rather it's more well known by foreigners as the gateway to the Mentawai Islands. If you've never heard of the Mentawais before, they are considered one of the best surfing destinations in the world, as well as tropical paradise. My ferry tomorrow morning leaves at 6 a.m. and takes me to Tour Bajet, which is part of the island chain. And there my friends are picking me up in their dinghy or tender still learning the lingo and I will be going to their sailboat on which I'll be learning for the next month plus learning all the ropes literally to sail as well as free diving surfing just having a all-round good time with them as well as helping babysit their kid because they've got a kid on board now these guys I've been in communication with for over three years now and this plan has been in the works really since then they're also youtubers they're also Australian and yeah I'm really looking forward to making online friends into real life friends coming up also just quietly this lunch is two dollars fifty and one of the biggest things about this trip is I'm using it as a trial run to see whether it will work for me to buy my own boat and whether Oki will enjoy it too. So as you can imagine, there's a fair bit riding on this. But before I take you to the ferry, considering Sorel's comments about kidnapping Oki, I requested proof of delivery and she's come up with the goods. Oh my god, he's so excited to see you. Look at that! Wow! Look at that smile! Ready for another adventure? I mean, this seems pretty self explanatory. Oh my god! Oh! A different form of wake up call this morning. 4.30 in the morning. A little early, guys.
focus our eyes on the journey Stepping into the unknown Waving goodbye to our worries So we run wild And believe after all that I am here it's time for you to all meet the crew so my name's Josh and I'm Benita and, and this, is... this is Tallulah well she's not up for introducing herself just yet <laughs> she can say dad that's about it we're still <laughs> working <laughs> working on it. Well, uh, welcome Max, welcome to Nanji. Our sailing channel is Sailing Nanji. Been sailing around for the last five years. Yeah, so we left Australia five years ago and we've been through the Pacific and now Southeast Asia. So these guys, as I said, this has been in the plans for quite a while, but these guys are going to show me the ropes and I also plan on being a help as much as I can whilst we're on the boat. I'm going to leave the video here. Make sure you check out their channel and to, if you want to see more of the boat. Otherwise, in the next video, I'll give you guys a full tour and you can also start to see me learn the ropes and go from a complete sailing newbie to what's it called when you're like an established sailor? Uh, old salt, I suppose. An old salt. That's what I'm <laughs> aiming for by the end of this trip. <laughs>